landing sessions is that it showcases this part of the world. And if you've never been to Northern Ireland, there has never been a better time to visit. Uh, culturally, it has just come to life like it has never been before. We've got some wonderful music, obviously the greatest scenery in the world. I see a lot of great musicians coming through my programme on the radio and I see a lot of amazing performers and you can see most of them at the Atlantic Sessions. There's an incredible passion for music in this part of the world. And the Atlantic Sessions just covers that. It brings in incredible songwriters, great bands, and gives them a platform to do their thing. And that is admirable. And I've been supporting this festival since it started. And I've seen it get better and better, and it just gets bigger and bigger. And I hope to see that grow and continue to grow, because this is a great part of the world for music. And there's any number of great musicians who come here. Atlantic Sessions rocks, and it will continue to do so, and hopefully get bigger and better with every passing year. generally a busy bar anyway but uh, I mean I, it's not very often that it's that down here is filled to capacity where yeah. you can't move you know what mm -hmm. I mean so yeah. folk are in here because they know you're in here you know what I mean and uh, you guys also have a message you know what I mean and all of the stuff you're saying which is which is fantastic so and Diane tonight was able to say to me you know we come up here once a year she goes and I saw some new faces you know yeah. what I mean? And Aye. so new faces are coming well, that's out. That's great. That, that, uh -huh. That's a yeah. whole thing. Like, you know, yeah. when people are there, they start being, and you think, well, they're going to be probably going next door. You know what I mean? Aye. So that, you know, it'll all kind of empty out. Aye. Uh -huh. so, like, but they stayed and they, yep. and they were yep. there and yep. they danced yep. Yep. and they. And there were some great dancers. The <laughs> Aye. That's the thing. Like, uh, and you know, that's what I love the madness. See the madness of it all. And here, especially, like, the madness of what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, an all time no. You can't play a proper gig in this unless you get hit in the teeth. <laughs> yeah, microphone down again. Like, oh, that, that's what oh, I think yes, anyway. Man. That's when you know like uh, Place the teeth. people care about you. I'm sorry, they're ah, false. Good, good, good job. Good job. <laughs> job done. <laughs> sessions and it's quite appropriate for us really because a lot of our songs would be folk songs, would be stuff about sailors, about the sea, about the beaches and about the hills and this part of the world, if you do come up here, there's a story in every hillside, there's a story in every beach and if you come here during Atlantic sessions you may hear a few songs about them as well. I think original music is just fantastic. The Atlantic sessions definitely the benefits of being here, especially the time of year in November, it's a notoriously quiet month. And to have something to, to boost us for, for one week, you know, throughout, through November is just fantastic. Atlantic Sessions is such a great opportunity for musicians, local musicians. I loved it last year. I went to see Ben Lover and I just thought it was amazing. It was so intimate and lovely. And um, I love the music more than anything in the world. Songs when I was younger, and it was just a really good way to deal with things that were 
happening and growing up. And I never grew out of it. Um, 17 years later, I'm here and I write songs every day when I'm sad, when I'm happy, and I just love it more than anything. And this is really good fun, and it's such a good opportunity to bring me out of my shell. <laughs> six years now and in the six years we've been here I've managed to catch the Atlantic sessions for the last three years now um, and every year we get the most amazing people to come and play music here up on the north coast um, this little corner of the world is, is something spectacular it's something truly unique and beautiful about it and the fact that we have musicians playing in three different towns at all the different venues, uh, little bars and little taverns and things like that, makes it unique. At a time when it's traditionally quiet in November, um, the Atlantic Sessions brings a real buzz, not only to Port Stewart, but to the, the whole North Coast. Our rooms are usually fully booked for the, for the week from the event begins until it ends. And we can offer free music, which is very important to be able to offer free, free music to people. Um, for uh, four nights and sometimes five nights in a row. Good to go, yeah! Suicide, hold that, please, that, please, that, please. One, two, three, four, one! Not the west, not the east, but the north. Nor the quad train shall meet, no. <laughs> but it's uh, no, it's good to be here. We've never had a bad gig here, and I don't think anybody can ever have a bad gig here because the crowd are so receptive and great reception. And uh, everybody's everybody's so so into the music and uh, welcoming and having a crack. Welcome. Welcome and it's always great fun and uh, yeah no it's, it's, it's a delight to be here up at the uh, Atlantic sessions. It's, uh, it's steady gathering pace and I can't wait to see what's going to happen in three or four years time. We can Sometimes also a band called Farmer and the Gun, and uh, this is my third third Atlantic sessions, and um, yeah, it's been it's been good this year as well. It's it's, it's good every year. Um, we really enjoy coming down the North Coast. It's such an iconic place. So this is called Walking in the Shadows of Giants. To show the Atlantic 
Wine Section for what it is. It's one of the Florida Community Festival, a festival that, that, uh, that people are willing to support, that uh, see the music communities behind, the, the local communities behind. And it's just, to me, that was the most fantastic thing about I mean, this five days of original Northern Irish music was that community spirit. That was, that was magic, that was fantastic. And there were certain uh, and certain parts of the festival that really, really embodied it. Um, so that was that was the, the crux of it for me, the, the community, the community spirit. I mean, I travel all over the world, and uh, for me to come back and play, uh, I'd let the rest of the world to know about the Atlantic Sessions, what it's like to actually come here and play in Ireland. It's a fantastic, it's a fantastic atmosphere, let me say. See when you're fucking clicking your fucking Oscar, you're clicking your fucking Oscar. Remember I said that? Just remember, you remember, you came from. remember the fucking soundtrack, <laughs> the, fucking, your, your, the first fucking movie you ever make. Contact me. <laughs>